Hey YouTube, back again. I'm at McDonald's. Hey, hey mate, man, you said where I'm at, right? Okay, they had to pull me over to make four Big Macs. All right, it hold on. Four Big Macs. I have been challenged by Mike Mike. You tried it, girl. <laughs> Anyways, I was supposed to cook for my sister. She's not mad about it because my sister's sick and I don't think she'll enjoy eating a chicken tender sub tonight with that bad cold. I'm so glad I'm over it. I'm praying that, you know, <laughs> my sister had the same cold that, I'm, that I had last week because, baby, I don't think my body can put up with another cold. Not right now. That was the most weakening state I have been in in years. And, honey... I haven't been working on my channel. Every now and then I get on there and I um like say something to someone or you know just thankful that someone you know came and you know just thankful someone came and commented on my page because I was not into social media last week. Um, I recorded like several mornings going to work and I was like oh my god that's just too much to be sick and be recording videos so I was I, I just start recording and I was like when I feel better I record something but I had been putting up previous videos um I've decided that on Mondays is when I'm gonna put up reviews um on Wednesdays I'll probably do a ride along and on Fridays, I'll probably put up something that I cook. So, um, I'm going to write that down, y'all, so I can keep it in mind. Um, I've been trying to organize things better. Um, I've been trying to set up um, interview questions for um, the people that I'm reviewing their plates so that I can get more history, history about them. And uh, I just think that what I'm trying to do is something that I feel... Um, compelled to do and I, the, it, it makes me happy so I'm going to continue to do that um yeah so I wrote a poem tonight I might uh, try to take a picture of it or something and so y'all can see that um I used to write poetry a lot in high school and you know college and stuff but I got out of it uh, for some reason you know for some reason or another I grew past it and I'm trying to get back into it. I met this um, young lady in Arcadia. Her name is Sarah Peterson. And I really, really, really love what she does. And it's called um, Small Town Deserve Poetry too. And she has inspired me to, um, to write poetry again. So hopefully I'll be, um, you know, um, reading some of my poetry out loud to you guys on um, YouTube. Here's my food, y'all, for McDonald's, my four Big Macs. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I got my drink. No, mind. Thank you. <laughs> See him, mate, mate. I got four, honey, four of these. I don't know how I'm going to show you. Look inside the bag. There's more. There is more. Well, I'm gonna drive home. And I'm gonna try to separate this thing, thing. And we're gonna get into this, honey. Alrighty. Oh, y'all, I can't see good at night. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But anyways, y'all heard about this little young man in St. Petersburg, a 13-year-old kid that killed his grandmother. I can't believe that. That's kind of like, wow. How could that happen? I gotta roll this window up a little bit, y'all. I can't see real good, but I'm trying, y'all. I hate, um. that's what I used to hate. I used to hate driving at night and the city is not lit up. I hated driving to California in the truck because as soon as you um, cross over into California off 10, it's like dark on the interstate. And I didn't like that. That's the only part I didn't like about traveling is when it's really, really dark. No, no real lighting. But 
but I guess I was traveling on roads that a lot of people don't travel on. But anyways, <clears throat> back to the little kid, the 13 year old in St. Petersburg, Florida, that killed his grandmother. I was like, dang, you killed your grandmother? Wow, what happened? I'm still trying to research the story. Um, today, um, they did like a, um, they had the grandmother, uh, not the grandmother, but I, I guess the mother came on there, you know, to, you know, try to give her son support. And, you know, she love a kid, you know, but he's um committed a heinous crime. And I just want to know the details behind it. And when I get the information, I'll let you guys know. Um, I think it's another cover story that I, that I, um, had the opportunity to see today. But, um, man, I got a lot of questions answered today, too, on Make Make Live. Um, she was telling, um, I was asking, um, questions about the time because it was like I, I was, my time was way up there. And then all of a sudden, my time went back down. So I got a lot of questions answered. So you're not supposed to run a person's playlist more than once so we gotta stop doing that we gotta stop doing that and we gotta start just um i'm gonna start going live and i'm gonna start trying to find things to discuss so i'm gonna do that plus i'm gonna continue to do my reviews and um cook um make may said on her live today that she wouldn't mind seeing me cook so I'm going to try to see if I can position the camera enough to cook a meal every now and again. But, you know, I'm a, uh, I, like I said, I got my day set up to where I want it to be. And I've been writing things down just so I can get more organized, especially since I got sick, man. I was feeling discouraged. I was down. My spirit was low. I mean it. And, you know god is um god is good and he's giving me the strength that i need to move on and continue this um journey as a content creator i love it y'all i really do i wish i can do it full time you know just travel the country and and um you know really 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 get into it and you know meet people I mean, I'm doing it on a gradual basis, and I like it because I don't think, like, okay, I wake up today and I have um, 485 subscribers, and I and I wake up tomorrow and I have, like, 100,000 subscribers. I don't think I'll be able to handle, you know, what it, what it takes to maintain 100,000 subscribers right now. Not even, I don't even think that I can um, appeal to an audience because I'm so young in this journey. I don't think that I'll be able to create the kind of content I need to create in order to um, build a great foundation as a content creator for that that many people. And that, I mean, that's, that's a lot. I mean, I have to, I mean, it's like this, come clean or don't come at all. And that's, that's the real deal. That's the real deal. Um, Right now, I'm still young in the game, and I'm just going to go with the flow. But I do want to get to my 1,000 subscribers and my 4,000 hours. So I'm going to do what I can to get there. Praise God. And um, if, 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 it's a, if it's not meant for me to get there this year, I'll get there next year or the year after that. But I'm praying that I get there this year. And I'm praying for everything to be great. Oh, I got to get them go to work in the morning, y'all. It's cold, cold, cold in Florida. Well, it's cold for us, shoot. I'm on my way home. Got these lights on in the car. I got the lights on so y'all can see me. But anyways, y'all, I'm almost home, and I'm going to put these little sandwiches together. 
Look at this. They, they just go. They going to make them a way, boy, to stay outside. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I'm on my way home. I'm almost there. And um, I'm going to get with y'all. All right. Give me a second. Yeah, my dad over here to the house in the yard. I forgot daddy was uh, doing film strips on Tuesday nights in the yard. He's doing his benevolence work, y'all. Life is too short. And the memories of... The memories, the memories. All right, y'all. I'm sitting out here in the yard for a minute. I have these four Big Macs, y'all. I know y'all gonna let me. Anyways, it's cool out today in Florida. And so I decided to do the four Big Mac challenge by Zaddy Chomp Chomp. Um, I was challenged by Mank Mank, who was challenged by Tam's Table. So I decided to do it today, y'all. Hold on. For one second, let me find my straw. Okay, I found it. Quick fix. So I'm gonna make sure I have something to drink. By the way, I have a Coke. So my sister got home tonight. First of all, I was on a lot of day and I said I was gonna do chicken tuna subs. My sister got home tonight. Um, no motivation. Hey, no cooking. So I was like, man, let me do this challenge because my sister's sick anyway. And I was just trying to do something, you know, so they can have something to eat. But I don't think she going to enjoy it because she's not feeling well. But anyways, let me get into this. Your Big Mac Challenge. All right, y'all. Let's see. What they do. What they do, what they do, what they do, honey. What they do. Over here. Over here, over here, over here. Ooh, baby, four of them jokers. Let's see. Now, I saw Mank Mank pull the bread off. The top of one. Nah. All of them, mostly. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know what the challenge really is, but because I haven't been on his channel in a while, and I should have went on his channel before I did the video, and I'm sorry, I apologize about it, but... Uh, I was in a rush to do this, and I decided to go on ahead and do it. Um, man, they didn't even make my sandwiches right, y'all. They ain't even right, but anyway, I'm going to eat them anyway. Because they ain't put my two pickles right, though. I like pickles, y'all. Okay, let's make this as painless as possible. Then they part, man, told me they was making them fresh. That's what make it so bad. And they don't seem like they fresh to me. But we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' try them anyway. Oh, I hope I did it right, y'all. Okay. Uh let's see. I'm going to put the sharp end on here. And the only reason why I had these skewers here is because I used to do flower arrangements. I mean, not flower arrangements, but fruit, fruit, fruit arrangements. And I had these sitting around. I haven't done fruit arrangements in a while. It's expensive and people don't want to pay the price. They don't want to do it, but they want the, they want the product, but they don't want to pay for it. Fruit is high. So that's what got me out of doing food arrangements. I was just like, oh, blowed every time. But people used to buy them and I appreciated it. Y'all probably say she done did so much in her life. I have very creative. I just, I don't know, I love art. I love art. All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Mind you, my sister already said, I know you ain't finna sit up there and eat no four 
um, no four big masks. Now that's a shame. <laughs> oh, baby, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. Oh my God, this is crazy. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me say my prayer first, y'all. Then I get into it. Um, Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I come to you in the humblest way, way I know how, I'll, Father. Asking you to bless this meal for the nourishment of my body. Also, Father, I would like to thank you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon me and my friends out there in the YouTube and Facebook land, Father. Continue to bless and keep us, Father, and continue to allow us to grow as individuals. Wherever, wherever this journey takes us, Father, give us the strength to take it. These are many blessings, and that's in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. Here we go. I don't know what to do with this sandwich. This is not your typical sandwich. My God, what do I do? Do I bite it like this? Mm -mm. That's too much, y'all. Mm -mm. Let me see. Let me do it like this. Okay. Mm. I like the Big Mac um, sauce, but use them. I order it without the middle bread. Mmm. Check it out. Oh, I love McDonald's drinks. They always be on point. Mm. I was gonna do don't wipe your mouth challenge, but mm -mm. no, not today. Mm -mm. bread. take a laugh for them. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> that's a lot of bread. I'm not used to eating a lot of bread. Mm. But, man, I don't know what you done got me into, girl. But we're gonna try to check it down. That's one. <clears throat> Mm. 
ですけどね。Out of tune. What y'all doing for Thanksgiving? My sister said by the time I get home from work tomorrow, they're going to have a tree up. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Oh, my sister know how to decorate. So, how are my niece? The one that lives in Washington, D.C. She came home today. And her and my sister, they're going to put the tree up. Oh. Y'all. My daddy had called and told me he was leaving. He had to pack his stuff up, his equipment up. He was outside um, showing um, religious films tonight. And then, when I when I came from out there uh, to come in here and do this challenge, I ain't tell him I was doing the challenge. I was just say, Dad, I'm hungry. <laughs> and he was like, Okay, well the film strip almost over. I ain't know he started already when I went outside to go get the burgers. But it ended right when I came back. So I sat out there with him for a while, but he was like, I'm finna get ready to wrap it up. So I came in the house, so daddy already done put his stuff up. And um He's gone. He put out a table and he put out his lights and stuff and a little lights, light work, not much, you know what I mean? But he is getting older, but you know, I think he like having his independence too. So I guess I'll go out there with him next week, Tuesday. Hopefully I don't work too late on the job so I can go out there and sit with him for the entire film. Excuse me. Mm. Not lady like. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It seemed like my jaw hurting me real bad. It seemed like, oh. I understand what she was talking about, mate, mate, today, man. <clears throat> I feel, um, weak. <laughs> I feel weak. I feel weak. All right, y'all. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I got two more. <clears throat> I wish we could take the bread off and just eat the meat. Good Lord. I saw Prince of P husband do it. Um, I saw Prince of P husband. Um, what's his name? It was uh, Ray Sean. I saw Ray Sean take down these four, four. No, I think Ray Sean did five big man. I'm not sure. I like watching um Prince of P and Ray Sean.
I don't comment. Check. Every now and then I comment, but most of the time I don't because I just feel like they just got so much going on. They won't respond to me. <laughs> well, y'all know. I might start responding. Maybe I'm coming. Maybe one day I can touch bases with them. This really ain't no challenge that you can really talk. You just got to eat. <clears throat> Hopefully I can do something with Till. Live coming up. So I don't know how my weekend going to go. I know I got, I'm going to a concert um, Thanksgiving night with some friends of mine. <clears throat> I'm going to see Trina. Trina. The rock star. <laughs> what I'm doing at a Trina concert. Huh? Well, I grew up in that era. And I got some friends that want me to come hang out with them. And I decided to. You know. Um, one of my, one of my friends co-hosting Trick Daddy concert in West Palm Beach tomorrow night. He called me today. He um just finished on um, putting his outfit together. I'm like, boy, I had my outfit. I just ain't never tried my outfit on, but I tried it on today, and it's nice. I'm gonna show y'all some pictures. Y'all know I'm going to take pictures. I'm being VIP, honey. Mm. I got some friends. <laughs> I'm being VIP. All access. I'm going to say tramp. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we might take some pictures. Maybe she might take a picture with me. Never know. But Rick Ross supposed to be there too. Um Randy. Randy. Remy. Man, that's like eating on um, <clears throat> two, four, eight, eight, eight cheeseburgers, eight cheeseburgers with the extra, with the extra, well, bun. It ain't got no time limit. So, we just chilling, huh? Tell me. I got one more. Yeah, I'm going to I don't know how them people do them championship. Eat, eat a lot of food. I'm a big girl now. I am a big girl. No excuse for funny. I am a big girl. But, baby. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm fighting to make space. I know what I got to do tonight, but I really don't want to do it tonight because, baby, I got to go to work tomorrow and tomorrow, team. And you think I want to um do what I got to do tonight? I don't think so, honey. I mean, nothing um kept getting up in the middle of the night like I did the other night. I, I was so sick. <clears throat> oh, my God. When I got out of work last week, and I was just like, oh, my God, I'm just going to spend the next couple of days in bed. 
Man, I'm spending the next couple of days in bed, and baby, let me tell you something. For some, I don't know if the medicine that I was taking was like cleaning me, but honey, I was waking up, waking up, waking up, and my my um sugar was um running high. It might have been my metformin though. It might have been my um medication that caused me to keep getting up, going, 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 going. You know, um, you gotta kind of limit your sugar when. <clears throat> when your sugar go up so and I think that the um medication I was taking had sugar in it. I was taking Alka Setzer, um cold and sinus and cold, sinus and flu. Or was it cold and flu? Because at first I thought I was having an allergic reaction because you know sometimes I just have allergic reactions like to the atmosphere or <clears throat> the bleach too loud or the the air freshener too loud, and I usually just take me a Benadryl, and I'm, I'm fine. Or some Claritin, or something like that, you know, so I can feel better. But after I had took the um allergy medicine, and I was still like going downhill, I was like, oh my god, and see. And this was after I had did my first live. I mean, I was feeling bad before, but I was ignoring it because I really thought it was um, like, you know, something that I was going to get over real quick. But then um, <clears throat> my daddy had ended up calling me. And he was like, um, darn, you sound bad. I'm going to bring you some medicine over there. But first, my dad's wife had called and she was like, you all right? I said, because I had put on Facebook, I'm sick, y'all. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went on, um, like, um, interacting with people like I normally do. So I wanted them to know that that's the reason why. Not that I'm just, you know, falling off the face of the earth. But I'm not interacting with you guys because I'm not feeling well. I need rest. So my dad's wife had called me. She was like, Fatih, you all right over there? I said, yes. But at first, I was just, um... Uh, taking some stuff that my sister had but i looked at the package and it was like expired so i was like wait a minute <laughs> this stuff is not gonna work the same so my sister was like double up on it it's just weakened it's just double up on it for the night so i doubled up on it man that stuff knocked me out cold i'm talking about it knocked me out cold so the stuff still <laughs> It was still on a level of, like, I'm going to fix you. And uh, so, the next, I, I told my judge, I said, I'm all right. Because, you know, the medicine was kicking in. I was feeling better. My, I could move around, you know. Um, and so, you know, because it had a pain relief in it, it, it. But you could still hear it in my voice that I wasn't feeling well. I was uh, congested. <sighs> okay, y'all, I'm back. Baby, my friend had called me. See, look at that. <laughs> I still got it. It's still here. I had a slight interruption. But that's all right, though. Anyways, I was talking about um, the medicine. So, daddy had called me. He was like, Faye Till, uh, do you need me to bring you something? By then, I was sick as a dog. <laughs> I said, heck yeah. But my daddy had bought me that Mucinex. <clears throat> At first, I was kind of skeptical about taking it because I never took Mucinex before. And, uh, you know, I just didn't want no reaction to it or nothing like that. So, I took it. And you want to talk about somebody felt clean as a whistle? I'm talking about up in here. Man, it felt like that stuff was draining that stuff out of me so quick. And uh, I was feeling better. So, guess what the dodo bird did the next morning on the way to work? left the medicine at home, got to work, and was sick as a dog. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, I know, I know, I know my co-workers got tired of me complaining that day, though, because, baby, I was sick, but I was determined to get through my shift. And I did got through it. I was supposed to stop by, I was supposed to leave work on my lunch break to go get some, um, some more medicine. I don't know what stopped me from getting that medicine, but I never did make it out 
you know, out of the job to go get the medicine. I don't know what happened that day, but I, I don't know. Might have got a lot, might have got busy, you know, doing stuff that I needed to take care of at work. I think my boss had came by and she and I talked about the organization of the things that I had, of my task, you know what I mean? Um, I think we got to talking and she, and she asked me about, and I told her about my channel and you know, and she was like, she'll try to help me do stuff, you know, create, be more creative with my plating and all that. And I was so appreciative and, you know, I was trying to get into that and I was just, oh my God, I was so sick, but praise God. Um, I know that, um, she's been teaching me a little bit, a little bit at a time. So y'all, I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. And, and by the way, my boss is a certified chef. And she's teaching me the ways to be creative with plating things. Um, I have my um, dietary management license I got about two weeks ago. I got it. Um, so, yeah, my job is good to me. And, um, <clears throat> you know, and I know I talk about um, my adventures out there on um, driving a semi truck. And I really wouldn't mind going back you know but at the same time my job the people i work around my co-workers my bosses they are really really good people and i love working for them and financially i'm doing well but uh anyways y'all i need to go ahead and finish these on um, big mics on up honey let me tell you something when i had got to this on uh, last one on i was seeing stars but um some time done passed so let's see child take me forever to take this down i hope i'll pass out mm. i'm trying my best man man zaddy chomp chomp Oh, boy. You know how people be eating all that food. Like I was saying, like I watched this guy, his name, the garbage disposal. He be eating that food. Him and his friend, that girl. Um, he ain't friend with Ryan. I like Ryan too. But it's another girl that he be with all the time. And she can eat. She eat faster than him. And she a little old woman. And I be like, dang, I'm, I feel, I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't remember your name. But if y'all want to look up, she friends. She's, a, um, she won so many challenges. She's friends with, um, with um the garbage disposal. I don't know if she friends with Raina, but I like eating the watching Raina eat too, man. Y'all should watch some of them championship eatings. I mean, you'll be amazed. I watched the garbage disposal. He probably don't even know me, but I watched him. I come in there now and then. I don't watch so many of Raina movies and um Matt Stone, that's that's like the champion for um for hot dogs. And that Korean dude or Asian, he can eat too. But Matt Stone, them if y'all want wanna watch them, honey, they'll get a whole bunch of these sandwiches plus fried plus milkshake and eat it down. I don't know how they be doing it. It's brain power, boy. You got, I mean, brain, brain. I mean, woo, baby. Let me tell you something. I'm finna try, y'all. Come on, root me on. Mm. You root me on my grave. <laughs> but no, I got some good nerve pickles, though, y'all. I'm pickles sour. I'm gonna see if I can eat this one, y'all.
Let me see when these people be eating all this food. <clears throat> Man, I don't know what the heck they be doing. Rana says she be exercising though. And then after she finish her challenge, Rana, she'll go do another one. Mm. I don't believe I'm going to finish that one, y'all. I think my mind telling me no. I think my mind just can't do it no more. I feel like I'm going to cry. I just can't do it no more. Ooh, baby. Mm. I'm telling you, boy, this thing got me emotional. All that meat in my body and all that bread. Honey, let me tell you. I think I think I tried my best. I think Hood Place failed this challenge. And that's alright though. Cause I'm still a woman. I did three. I did three. I tried to do four, y'all, but I just can't. I've been hit a wall, but I tried to push through, eating slower, taking small bites. Um, this has not been the easiest challenge to complete, and um, I give in because I feel like my I feel like my arms sweating. I feel kind of like oh, I keep seeing stars, so I know it's time because maybe the bread and the and the and the special sauce. And cheese got too much sugar in it for me. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all around. See you later. Bye.